OK, so we need to know what y equals e to the x looks like. So we know what y equals 2 to the x looks like and what y equals 3 to the x looks like in comparison to one another on the same graph. OK, so let's just draw them. So here's y is equal to 2 to the x. This is y equals 3 to the x. OK, didn't quite draw that as well as I could. Right, and they're both going through 1 on the y-axis. OK, so y equals e to the x. Now remember, when you type it into your calculator, OK, e to the 1, e is 2.718 to four decimal places. So this is like 2.718 to the x, OK? So you would be expecting it to be steeper than 2 to the x, but not as steep as 3 to the x. So actually, e to the x, you'd still be going through 1 y-axis, and it'll go between those two graphs there. OK? So your y equals e to the x looks just like an exponential curve, as you would expect, OK? However, um, it is just a little steeper than 2 to the x, just a little shallower than 3 to the x, OK? Now, what you will be looking at in the next section, OK, really relates to the fact of why we look at e to the x on a graph and what is special about its gradient of the curve at that point.